Hey, hello and welcome, folks, to the Panthers Picks Podcast here. Let's get a couple of those more for the people, for the people. The Panthers Podcast, the standard. There's the Panthers Picks Podcast, where we go through, pick them against the spread, pick some totals. If there were props available on the books that I use, uh, boy, here in Vegas, that's Station, MGM, Caesars, and I think a little bit of Circa action as well, that I would, but there's not. Oh, well, oh, well. Check DraftKings for things like that, folks. I know what you're thinking. Who is that mustachioed man screaming in my ear about spring football? Well, you ever, you ever made out with a tugboat? I'm FBI Tug, but I'm your host of the Panthers podcast and the Panthers Picks podcast. FBI underscore Tugboat on literally everything, folks, on literally everything. you got to have that unique name out here. Now, let's talk about, well, hey, yeah, first, I guess let's get into, uh, let's get into last week. What, so week, uh, week five, I was uh, perfect, 4-0 and zero ATS. Uh, I think one one on totals right there, even though I said again that I wasn't going to do it. Uh, both of those were very, very minor bets, and, and they basically canceled each other out. They were, I guess, to put it into fractions or, or proportions, whatever. It was like a third of a unit or a quarter of a unit that I put on, on those two. All other bets were full units. All other bets hit uh, ma- massively up on that week. Coming to last week, uh, two and two, uh, did not anticipate. Oh, what? So... Michigan obviously didn't uh, didn't make it there. I called the St. Louis game. Did not call. Uh, did not call the. Uh no, oh, yeah, and I, I called the St. Louis game and the uh, and the and the and the Birmingham game. Missed uh, m- missed the other two. Missed the San Antonio game right there. Unfortunately. Anyway, uh, so two and two last week. Uh, I think I did take a, I did take a total a live total on an over of forty. I think in the San Antonio game and missed that one as well. So that is that is two and three. There's two and three full unit plays down on it. We're we're we're, we're marking them down. We're marking them down. I'm not going to BS you people. Not going to bullshit. Uh, before we talk too much about this, uh, there's there's disclaimers down there, guys. If you're underage, you don't want to gamble. You're self exclusion, whatever else like that, guys. Unless you're gonna, basically unless you're going to gamble, uh, you know, safely here with the advice or whatever that I, I'm saying, running my big fat mouth about, uh, which, which I don't have any kind of inside edge. I'm not telling you guys to bet or nothing like that. Then at least do so responsibly. If you're not playing on a gambling responsibly, then you can get out. All right, let's get into it. Sorry. That's a super long winded freaking <sighs> disclaimer or whatever. All right, uh, folks, these, these numbers have changed a lot, a whole, whole lot. I wonder if this would actually look better with me like sitting in front of it. If I like blew it up right here, you know what? Let the let let's look let's 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 look let's 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 let's, let's look. How about that? How about that? Uh, bam. Make this much larger. Oh, hello. Make this much much larger. There we go. Odds obviously uh provided by DraftKings. And I can put this like over here, and I can. How's that look? How's that look? And going like, what are we thinking, guys? I'm not doing it. Nope, not doing it. Actually, yeah, fuck it. Right there, you go. All right, let's do it. Screw it. Uh, I th- I have the other thing already like set up right here in case I want to uh, go back to it. Actually, yeah, I kind of like that. All right, hey, let's talk about it, right? Hey, 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 like, right? Let's talk about it. Anyway, sorry, bad joke, dumb joke. Uh, folks, if you want to get it on the on the Arlington action, uh, myself, plenty of other people are are, are pretty hard in on the uh, Arlington Renegades. I would recommend doing that one soon. This one opened up at three, I believe it still is on a lot of the local books. Obviously, DraftKings more national than the ones here in Las Vegas, and uh, and definitely taking action on these like more like more like amount wise and uh, and everything else like this. You know what? This is gonna drive. You know, I actually kind of like this. I just need to pull it off the, the Panthers podcast thing a little bit. We're, we're throwing audibles in the middle of the game right here. We're, we're, we're getting it started. We're getting it figured out all, all the way out. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Arlington uh, hosting the Memphis Showboats. I has been said before. I will say it again. They got to take one eventually, right, people? But yeah, you uh, XFL champions from last year, albeit some some uh, trickery behind the scenes. Leave it at that. No no uh, soapbox once again. Um and then you're gonna come forth and win not one game across the first seven. Um, granted, this is a squad that 
has played I mean has not played the Memphis Showboats yet, which is you know Memphis Showboats and Houston Roughnecks, not just because of uh, overall record, but because the you know team quality, team composition, whatnot. You can make an argument either of these are the worst two teams in the league. This will be the best opportunity that Arlington's going to get. And my God, if they haven't been negative money before, if they haven't been favorited before, right? Jesus Christ, uh, and that makes makes me feel bad. Makes me feel bad. I do believe this is going to be it, though. Um, I am liking an over. I'm liking an over. Uh, what, are, what are the numbers Hello, telling me? I have it written down over here. Um, yeah. I, 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 I do like this over. I would also anticipate this moving as well, 40, 45 as of right now. I mean, both, neither of these teams have any fuck, have any defenses like at all, right? Well, I uh, just finished filming the uh, Panthers pick, uh, the Panthers podcast, talking about the Arlington Renegades team and talking about our matchup with them last week. They just don't like they they are uh, sixth, seventh, or eighth in every single uh, metric defensively. Uh, they've just gotten beat up on seriously, and Memphis just is not that guy uh, again folks, I, I would recommend getting these in before they do change. At the absolute least, uh, t taking that minus 205 there for the money line in place and on a multi-league parlay, especially if you live somewhere where you only have the, these fake sports books that only let you uh, do parlays like prize picks or underdog or whatever else like that. Never understood that stuff. Moving on along to the late game, quote-unquote, on uh, on Sunday. The, these times are obviously Pacific time where I am in Las Vegas. The Birmingham Stallions hosting the St. Louis Battlehawks. Let's hear it for uh, what is what is definitely, definitely hands down the uh, the game of not just the weekend, maybe of the entire season. Folks, this is going to be this is almost mathematically guaranteed to be, excuse me, the the, the uh, a preview of the USFL or the UFL championship, right? Uh, the only major difference, which is a major difference, is that St. Louis would be hosting in that situation. We got two absolute dogs going at it. Two absolute dogs. Adrian Martinez or Matt Corral. We'll talk more about that in a second. I have a hair in my mouth. God, that's gross. Um... Hosting the the St. Louis BattleHawks, um, hey St. Louis has already lost. Their only loss so far has been to a UFL team, woo, 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 the Panthers team. Um, this is th this is the lowest that you are going to see the Birmingham Stallions be at. They're they're going to be favorited in every single game in the regular season this year. Uh, this this is is fantastically low. Uh, I, I and also sorry. So I'm feeling good. If you guys have followed. I, you know, kind of, kind of took my folly into play, right? I, I realized that, uh, especially taking totals across weeks like four to six, I just was not it. Mostly been ATS. I will let you guys know. Like, so I'm picking every everything, you know, gun against the head, which whichever way I feel it, uh, ATS and on totals. Um, and and then at the end of this, I will tell you what bets like I am personally going to take, like you know, put 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 a solid unit on, or maybe a little bit more. Usually not going to be doing the under under unit thing unless it's a parlay, of course. Uh, I w I will get to those in a second. Um, feeling great about Ar Arlington minus th minus. Oh man, I have minus three right here. That's minus five actually. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, guys, if you can get the minus five is tough, right? Minus five is real tough because. Especially the way that a lot of these teams have been going in the UFL and realizing that one point, like I'll, I'll take an almost guaranteed one point as long as I have, you know, r running back like Love it over there in San Antonio, a, 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 a just like absolute corral, pun intended, uh, of running backs or running quarterbacks there with um th there in Birmingham. Uh, Adrian Martinez obviously quarterback status uh, over. Uh, uh, over there, but plenty of people that can, you know, if you give them the ball with two yards to go, then easy, it should be easy piece. The Houston Roughnecks, you got Mark Thompson over there with us, you got Wes Hills, or Matt Colburn has already showed that he can do that. Uh, my point is, if it's a one point conversion, it's pretty much like guaranteed. I think a lot of these coaches, especially the more risk averse coaches, uh, re Mike Nolan, uh, are, are, are so more often just going to go for the guarantee instead of trying to double up, even triple up. I, I don't think we've seen an actual three-point conversion yet outside necessity. I am 99% sure we have not gotten one uh, one pick. So uh, I'm feeling good about uh, Birmingham. I got it in three and a half. Uh, four, I mean, it, it's, the, it's the difference on a half-point push or, or hit, right? Uh, I I don't see a major difference in four. Unsure about the total. This is really really high right here. Uh, St. Louis's defense is nowhere near the level of the Birmingham Stallions defense, in my opinion. And and on the flip side, the offenses are much much more evenly matched, right? 
uh, I could be the, see this being, I could see it being one way or the other. It, it, either like a literally like 35, 37 game and just blows this right out of the water, or or a uh, or or a like one sided affair for the for the Birmingham Stallions, honestly. And I could see that being like 28 to 10, uh, which obviously wouldn't even come close to wouldn't even come close to hitting. I'm leaning. That's the term I'm going to use. Leaning. Under 47 and a half here, the Birmingham Stallions hosting the St. Louis Battle Ox. Battle Ox. What can I play here? I just feel like playing something. There you go. We'll play this one. You can't handle the truth. Sometimes you just got to use your soundboards when you can, right? If you were here, I would. I five. I don't know. Oh, well. I'm running out now. I'm running out. I'm sorry, guys. I got excited. Moving on along here, Michigan Panthers taking on the DC Defenders. Uh, this is also a line that has moved significantly. We started out at underdogs, and I think I even saw plus one and a half when this originally opened up at here for here for the Michigan Panthers. Us visiting Audi Field now, folks. We talked about I uh, talked about this with the regular podcast and whatnot. Uh, everyone keeps talking. I, I feel like commentators or, or anybody who watches this league on a face level can't talk about DC without talking about how they were undefeated in Audi Field. In years past, and I use the term years past for a reason, folks. This is not the same. This ain't your mama's DC Defenders. This ain't even your little sister's DC Defenders. This is not the same DC Defenders squad. Now, that said, I am going to be picking them right here, right? Um, I, I We lost Frank. Uh, Mike, uh, The Michigan Panthers lost Frank Genda. We do not have other confirmations on uh, on other players that may or may not be starting. Danny Etling has not been going doing as well. Said it on the other podcast. So we'll say it again on this one. Outside of a 40-yard rush uh, that guaranteed points last week against Arlington to give them their sixth loss, uh, Danny Etling had a very, very mediocre. Just, just take the stamp, bam, right there on week six. Mediocre uh, outing outside of that. Only like a hundred and something, a uh, hundred and something passing yards. Let's take a look at this because I still have it up. Make you big again. There you go. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Here we go. Game. Uh, Danny Antling, 202 yards, 16 for 28, only a 57% completion ratio, no interceptions, a single touchdown. We were we were on the ground yet again. We only got one, two touchdowns overall because Jake Bates uh, kicked 15 points in field goals, made all five of them right there. And you could kind of say seven out of seven because he was iced on a couple of them. Uh, sorry, one was a, one was a, two of them were penalties. So I guess eight, well, two of them were penalties, and one of them was iced the last uh, last couple of seconds. Right, crazy stuff. Anyway. Take a look, DC right here. Uh, Kiki, Kiki Kuti has sat out a couple of times. He doesn't play. Uh, th that affects this number. Um, uh, at the end of the day, though, especially given that I got I got DC at minus one because I thought this number was going to get higher. Plus one, obviously, a, a little bit better. Um, if, if this was if this was still a minus one, I would just sooner take the take the money line, especially if it was minus. What, what would that be? Minus one twelve and and minus one oh five. I would just take the money line and just not worry about pushing, right? Uh, if they lose by more than that, and they lose by, or if they win by more than that, and they win by more than that, uh, but you know, give give up a couple of potential cents one just for just to get pushes out of the way, because as you guys know, I have been pushing bets like I'm out on the Las Vegas Strip trying to get people hooked in the casinos. It's it, it's been it's been absolutely insane. I've never played. Uh, well, it was five weeks when I had I think four pushes. Uh, I and and obviously there's not even prop bets like available on these and I wasn't taking every single game. I, I was picking every single game but I wasn't betting on every single game, right? Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Uh DC uh yeah, I had hate to get hate to uh, root against the home team. This co this podcast specifically is not about the Panthers podcast necessarily or the Ben Michigan Panthers necessarily. It is about making money and that is what uh that's what gambling is about. Uh over under unsure about this. I also don't uh, I also do not feel great about these. So, this is not this is not a lock by any means. Unsure but going to go positive one DC defenders. Unsure going to go um I'm actually I probably probably under probably under 43 cuz we have a decent defense they're at home. Yeah, I'm going to say under that's just you know, so, so, so under in DC on that one. Don't feel great about either of those. Just going to pick them. Just going to give my opinion on them. Moving on along to the fourth of four fantastic games for this weekend. I genuinely believe this is one of the best slates. That this might be actually the best slate outside of like week week one, right? Anyway, uh, San Antonio visiting the Houston Roughnecks. Just like our first game, I have no idea why this number is only minus three. I also don't really know why this over-under has been consistently going down. I mean, unless people are just fading the Houston Roughnecks because 
they know or think they know something about Mark Thompson not playing. I'm, I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, Reed Sinnott hasn't been doing terrible, and they obviously have other running backs there in, in Houston and whatnot. This is a squad that, that this is not your week one to week three. Like, even without Mark Thompson, then, like, if we still don't have Mark Thompson on the squad, I still think that they are a much better squad than they were then. Uh, Guarantano just simply wasn't Reed Sinnott and didn't, didn't do as good now backing him up, I believe. Reed Sinnott has... Uh, I mean, what what did they say? Reed Sinnott Sin can spin it. I always love. I, I think I always remember that one. I really really liked that one. Uh, Reed Sinnott has been super super up and down all the way through. Obviously, you know Houston's only won one game, but this just kind of matters more for San Antonio because even if Houston wins here, like if we win, they're out. If wait, right? Yeah, yeah. If we win, they're out because then there's only week eight, nine, and ten, and and they wouldn't even they wouldn't be able to come back on that because they wouldn't be able to make it to the postseason. Um, and, and also. We would have. They would have to win out, and they. We, they. Blah, 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 blah. Houston would have to win out, and Michigan would have to lose out all the way through. We're playing both Houston and Michi and uh, 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 Memphis in the in, in two of these weeks, weeks eight and nine. That is, I, I just don't see that happening outside of like crazy injuries and other shit like this. Uh, San Antonio, a lot more to play for. Still, still, really, the XFL uh, conference, thankfully, is much more like is not solidified quite yet. And so I think that this San Antonio squad comes in. I, honestly, I see this. Uh, oh, and and th this is feels great about minus three. Also feel great about the uh, about the 39. I actually got it in at over 39 and a half. This 39 now that now that purchases you a push, folks. Maybe even wait until like Friday night or something like that to bet on this one because this has been consistently going down, and I still see this going like way higher. Just like be on the safe side. Wait until this. I mean, if this gets to like especially like 37 and a half, it gets if it gets that low, like by like. Saturday night. Well, yeah, this is on Sunday, so like Saturday night or something like that. Then word. If it's only a point or two the other way, I really still don't feel bad about this because I be I see this being a, a very high scoring game. I see San Antonio if Quentin Dormady really gets it together and, and and they actually start playing like they have before. If Lovett actually gets a chance to run the ball frequently and John Jay Kirkland gets involved again, then I see this being like a like a a massive blowout. And San Antonio covering like that almost by themselves, like like we're talking like 31, 35 points or something like that. Um, I could see this being a back and forth, but I, but I I just feel like that that is what is going to happen. I don't really see a world where where Wade Phillips, uh, th unless they start asking him questions on the sideline again, he gets confused again, guys. I I I, I don't know. I, I just don't really see a world where. Houston Roughnecks do. Let's talk about what could happen here. The Houston Roughnecks, they uh, saw the article. CJ, uh, uh, CJ Johnson, or Johnson, whatever his name is, has been um, has been interviewed, and he said, like, we're looking at everything. If you're in, if you're involved in the team, we're looking at you, right? Uh, we, we, we may see another, um, we may see a whole other quarterback besides Senate and Garantano coming in here for the Houston Roughnecks. Um, that, that would be the only reason why I wouldn't bet against this team come Saturday night with them playing, you know, noon on, noon on Sunday. The the advice here is wait until Saturday night for these two squads. Uh, or, or sorry, wait until Saturday night for the for the over under specifically because it seems like it keeps going down. And wait for that for confirmation about who's starting on both of these squads for the for ATS for against the spread. Uh, that because that is the Brahmas all the all day out uh, outside of that one. I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm feeling great about those two. So to uh, to round this one out, we are. Feeling great about the the you know locks whatever whatever you want to say my best bets. Uh, feeling great about Arlington minus three. Feeling great about Birmingham minus three and a half. Uh, feeling great about San Antonio minus three. And wait, hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, feeling great about the San Antonio uh, over of uh, over of forty. That that's honestly what I feel best about. Like I would say, take this like immediately. Put 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 a solid unit. On over 39, like right now, if you're not going to get there, I'm only saying to wait because this number seems like it is going down, and we all like free points here. Uh, once again, the, all these uh, all these odds are on DraftKings. The uh, so, some of the other ones, some of the other local ones, like um, some of the other ones, like uh, what's his name, Caesars, MGM, are just a little bit slower to get to these. They're also nationally, and they don't like just uh, DraftKings. Just seems like it responds like a lot more so. Um, like like with, with with lines and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, then you have guys like uh, guys like on the SGPN, right, who are going there and betting maximum, literally mooning these lines like a point, sometimes a point and a half by themselves. That's the other thing, folks. That's something I've learned about UFL gambling this season. You gotta you gotta get on these before they put their uh, they do their uh, I think Friday 
or maybe tonight. No, it's like an hour and a half. Guys, oh my goodness. Uh, it, it's like it's like 5 o'clock on, on Thursday, 5 o'clock uh, Pacific time on uh, on Thursday. Uh, maybe I should get these episodes out before then because they, you know, uh, I mean, uh, sh not not Sean. Kramer, Kramer goes for then and hit it. And, and I mean, obviously he's been killing it and making money. I'm not telling the man not to, not to bet on limits and stuff like that. Maybe just let us little people know. How about that? Just let us little people know a little bit before you go forth and put limits, uh, put like like bet maximum limits and whatnot, so we could go forth and may maybe uh, scrounge around, find find little gold coins in the in, in the uh, in the dirt in this in the street right here before Big Daddy Kramer whips it out, throws it down the fucking table, and then comes forth and uh, and and makes hundreds and hundreds of dollars with the sports book moving the line afterwards. I don't know. I don't know. This has been the Panthers Picks Podcast, folks. I very much appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure, like, subscribe, uh, comment, all the other stuff, especially comment if you feel like tailing or fading. If uh, if you want to talk me out of some of my picks, then I will then I will uh, uh, be listening to that one as well. I got a bug. Sorry. Uh, just as a recap, Arlington minus three and a half. Feel great about it. Uh, San Antonio minus three and a half. Feel great about it. San Antonio over 40 or, th or over 39. Excuse me. Feel great about that one. Uh, Arlington again. I got minus three. So I guess I can't say I feel great about that anymore. If you if you can get oh uh, if this number comes down on the totals here for the Memphis Showboats and Arlington Renegades, if that comes down a little bit, I would say like if you if if that that would be perfect like 42 and a half. If that comes down to 43 and a half, just 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 go ahead and take it. I realize it's just a point right there, but it's also to win instead of pushes and whatnot. Those are my bets. Appreciate you watching. Take a look at... Oh, where's it at? Oh, there you go. Take a look here. Bam. There you go. Battle Talk, Brahma's bullpen. I'm not going to go through all of them again. I just did on the other one. Weekly podcast here for the UFM folks. Uh, I wanted an opportunity... There we go. Had to, had to switch it. I was in studio mode still. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Folks, take a look at it here. Uh, weekly podcast here for the UFM. United Football Media. Go ahead and follow them at the UFM or the underscore UFM. I'm FBI underscore Tugboat. Uh, screenshot or whatever else like that. All like literally all of these podcasts are worth listening to. Um, I just got to go onto the polar opposites while Waste at, at Waste Web and Ace were busy doing were busy doing other stuff at FBI underscore Tugboat. At FBI, yeah, at FBI underscore tugboat. Follow away, subscribe, all that cool shit. Love you guys. Let me know if you're tailing, let me know if you're fading, and I will see you this weekend.